Monday and good morning. I'm meteorologist Mackenzie Lake. Let's talk about our Monday forecast. We have high pressure building into the region, so temperature wise will still be well above average. It'll be a pretty similar situation to what we saw just this weekend. So it's going to be feeling like summer, but only a couple degrees of cooling. We'll still be up to 70 degrees here in Santa Barbara. So this high pressure system is definitely bringing in some drier air into the region. We still have some weak Santa Ana winds as well. So keep in mind here winds will be on the slightly breezy side here, but this high pressure system will slowly but surely be shifting more towards the east and these warmer temperatures won't be lasting for too much longer. Here in Santa Barbara we will be sitting just under just around 70 degrees by about 2 p.m. here. Here in Santa Barbara we will be maxing out right at around 71 degrees, but again those cooler conditions and lots of more cloud cover are on the way. We do we are tracking a atmospheric river here for the mainly impact in the Pacific Northwest, but it is going to be bringing in a little bit of moisture here towards our region. So Wednesday night is when we're at first expecting to see this first amount of rainfall. But take a look here at how much moisture is associated with this atmospheric river. So you can see here it's mainly pointed again towards the Pacific Northwest, but you can see as we head on through the afternoon and through the evening hours into our Tuesday, we're going to start to see this slowly but surely shift down towards the south here. And we're expecting to see again a lot of these south and southwesterly winds drawing in a lot of this moisture here towards the central coast as well. So mainly south facing beaches will be impacted the most. But of course here in Santa Barbara down in Ventura County, we're both expecting to see the most amount of rainfall, maybe upwards of about two inches by about Thursday evening. So keep in mind here rainfall amounts looking to be on the lighter to moderate side at times. Definitely going to be seeing periods of heavier rainfall as well. But of course, lots of more details still need to be worked out. And of course, with timing and rainfall amounts, we'll be having a better understanding over these next few days. But future track radar here again shows this atmospheric river slowly but surely impacting the northern half of California, then shifting down towards the south here. So we're not actually expecting to see that wet weather until about late Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. You can see here it's really starting to intensify, especially with those south and southwesterly winds there. It won't be reaching here in, in Santa Barbara until about 7 o'clock in the morning, but take a look at just how much rainfall is expected there. Definitely moderate to possibly heavier at times, and then that's a lot of that heavier rainfall shifting down toward Ventura County and then down toward LA County as well. But take a look at temperatures for our day today back up into the 70s, so all the more reason to get outside and enjoy while you can. Of course, again, because we're tracking the atmospheric river and that wet weather is not only lasting on into our Thursday, but even more wet weather expected into our Saturday and possibly Sunday as well. But take a look in San Luis Obispo, 74 degrees there, only about a four degree temperature difference from what we saw just yesterday. Down toward Ventura County, we still have those Santa Ana winds today. That's why temperatures are looking to be pretty toasty. Still feeling like summer up in Ojai, sitting at 78 degrees and just under 80 degrees in Santa Paula. Have a good Monday.